I'm getting ready to head off to go to the Dollar Tree and to Bath and Body Works. And then I'm thinking about trying out this little um, like protein shake place. This lady, she approached us in the parking lot of King Supers the other day and she gave us these little um, coupon cards to come in and try these protein shakes. So I'm thinking about going there after I run all of the errands that I need to run. I'm gonna go to Dollar Tree to try to find all of the um, like glass containers that people have been showing. I've seen them on Instagram, I've seen them on TikTok, I've seen them so many places, but there's a ton of like food storage and just, you know, um, maybe like bathroom storage type of containers at the Dollar Tree and I wanna find them because some of them look super, super cute. And then also I need to go pick up a few candles at Bath and Body Works because I'm running low on my fall candles because I've just been burning through them like crazy. So I need to go pick up um, maybe two or three more and I need to exchange a body spray as well. So that's what I'm getting ready to go do right now. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day so far. Um, it's a beautiful day outside, super sunny, breezy, cool. It's about 68 degrees. It's just a wonderful day to go get things done. So I'm gonna head out right now. So we made it back home, y'all. I didn't record when I was in any of the stores because for some reason there were a ton of people there. Um, it's a weekday and it was early, so I don't know why it was so crowded, but I did find a ton of the stuff that I wanted and um, obviously I found more than I even wanted or needed. So yeah, um, we tried out the Summit Protein Shake place. I mean, it was good, it was cool. Um, I'm just not really that much of a protein shake drinker. And then we also tried a tea. Um, the tea wasn't really sweet, obviously, you know. It's supposed to be like a healthy place. So the tea wasn't very sweet. And I didn't really like the taste of it. It was orange uh, raspberry, I think. And then we got the caramel apple protein shake. And honestly, like, it tasted really good. My husband really liked it. It's just I'm not very much of a protein shake drinker. But, you know, hey, you never know until you try um, I figured that maybe, you know, it would be like a little bit different from the ones that we make at home. But no, honestly, it tastes like something you can make at home. Um, they have great customer service, though. The people there were super friendly, super nice. Um, if you're looking for a place to go to to stop and get a quick protein shake after the gym or something like that, I would definitely recommend them. Okay, so I found a ton of these glass containers. I got three of each and every last one of them except for these they only had two of them they look like um you should put candles in here to be honest but i'm gonna use them to put like q-tips and stuff like that in in the bathroom and then the rest of them i'm going to use to put kitchen stuff in like these ones um to put by the coffee bar i'm gonna put sugar and probably like cinnamon sticks or something like that. That's my sewing machine back there on the table. But um, just stuff like that in these. These, I figured I would put like flour and stuff. 
And then honestly, I just got these right here because they were pretty and my husband said that they look like pumpkins. Um, they're super, super cute and they have the rose gold top. I love these and they also had these in orange as well. I didn't really like the orange ones. They didn't, I don't know, they didn't match anything that we have in like, you know, we didn't want to go with that color, but these were super pretty. So we got three of those. And then also these as well. I don't know what I'm going to put in these, but they're super cute. So I got three of those too. <laughs> they also had a ton of different makeup items there. I picked up a few of those as well. I picked up two of these e.l.f. jelly highlighters. This one is in the shade Cloud and this one is in the shade do and they're really pretty i really love those then i got two of the small tapered elf brushes i've already opened this one up to see you know exactly what color it was because my husband thought that it would match really well with my skin tone it is the la colors matte liquid foundation and i can already tell just by putting this on my hands i'm not gonna like it on my face because it was honestly like kind of cakey and like it looked like it was separating after I let it sit on my hand for like a few minutes. So I don't know. I'm going to try it on my face, but I'm pretty sure I won't like it. I got this one as well. This is a different shade. This is a darker shade. It is in cappuccino uh, to try as a contour shade, but I'm not sure if I'm going to like that either. Then I opened this up and tried this as well. This is the Infallible Paints Metallics. This is a lip color in the shade Liquid Venom. Liquid Venom. Venom, Angelica? You guys know when I turn on the camera, I forget how to speak. So, <laughs> moving on to this. This is just a phone ring with a strap. I got this to hold on to my phone when I'm doing Instacart. I can just put it on my wrist so I don't lose it because my husband tells me all the time I'm always setting stuff down. So, I need to work on that. So, I got this so I can hold my phone around my wrist. So, yeah, that was it. It was pretty... It was a pretty successful run. I got everything I needed. Like I said, a little bit more than what I needed, but everything that I got is gonna be of use. And yeah, I'm getting ready to fix something to eat. I'm not quite sure yet what I'm gonna fix, but we're starving. We need to get something to eat. That protein shake didn't really do anything. My husband and myself, we shared it, and he's a huge man, so he took most of it. So <laughs> I'm getting ready to fix something to eat, and I'll show you guys whatever I decide to make. Okay, so we all decided what we were gonna eat. Um, this plate right here is Ramon's. He has some red beans and rice, a vegan chicken patty, and some of the Trader Joe's samosas. Babe decided that he wanted a toasted sandwich, so I toasted a sandwich and two hash browns. And then I have a hash brown and then some of the samosas. We've been no, watching no, no. this show Don't called really Outlander. <laughs> We've been watching this show called Outlander. Let us know if you guys have saw it. Uh, the show is insane. It's crazy. Um, we're on the second season. We're on season two, episode one. Uh, yeah, this different level. It's kind of like... Uh, Black men here in America. Just say it. No, that's not what I was going to yeah, say. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. It's just like Deuteronomy 2868. Except for they wasn't on them ships. Because the stuff that men got to go through. Because women don't be listening. This lady get on my <laughs> nerves so bad, y'all. Like, she don't understand nothing. Like, if she would just do what she told, then they wouldn't end up in these types of situations. But she just clearly doesn't see that. It's wild. Yeah, it's wild. It's crazy. Man, not um, me. It's a very explicit show, so don't watch it with your children nah. around. Definitely don't watch it with your children around. But yeah, uh, it yeah. has four seasons. That's why we started watching it because I'm tired of watching shows that only have one season and then you have to wait for the others. Mm -mm. I don't like that. Yeah, a lot of them scenes, I, I forgot what I was watching. I had to look up and see you know, what it entails and, and things like that because all the little, you know, the scenes where it was explicit. I, it caught me off guard. I, I wasn't even thinking yeah, about no. Like that. Yeah, no. Yeah, I was like, this ain't the Game of Thrones or nothing like that. That's what. That's exactly what I was gonna say. It's somewhat like Game of Thrones, or what is that show on Netflix that we watch with Uhtred in them? Uh, The Last Kingdom. It's kind of like The Last Kingdom type of show, mm, kinda sorta. It is. It's that type of a theme, I think. It is, yeah. but it's just is. I don't know. It's too much of it. Yeah, it is. We had to fast. Remember? I like, we fast forwarded it, yeah. We ain't watching that. No. You know what I mean? 
<laughs> it ain't no black people in it either. I haven't. You bet you ain't noticed that. Uh, no. There's no black people in it. Uh, Usually they yeah. try to put a like little black person two. in yeah. a little cameo. Yeah. Nothing. It, we haven't seen a colored person. No, yet. no Indian. Or nothing, <laughs> nothing, y'all. Nothing. But I said, there was some black people in the 1950s. Come on now, like because she, you know, time traveling and stuff. I ain't gonna give it away, but that's the premise of it. Yeah, that's the. I premise. Like, it, was, it was some black people in the fifties. It show us. Yeah, they just xed us out. Like we ain't in that. You know what? I don't want to watch this crap no right. more. <laughs> <laughs> right, all right, man. No man, black let people. Let bad taste in my mouth. No, I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. But yeah, that's what we getting ready to do right now. We're gonna watch this show. It's late now. Like it's way later. It's um. I mean, that's not what we're going to get ready to do right now, but, yeah, we are going to go watch that, you know. So we ain't about to watch it right now? No, not right now. But why not? Mama, we still got to take care of business. I'm so sick of you. <laughs> I'm so sick of you. But, nah, she, she right. We're just going to watch a little movie and relax our bodies and just chill. Definitely. And then um, I'm going to pick this vlog up again tomorrow, so I'm not going to end it here. But, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the morning, maybe. <laughs> Sometime tomorrow, we'll see. You'll see us. We won't see you. You'll see us. I'm going to let these people go. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the next day now. Hmm. And we're just sitting in the car um, waiting to go run some errands and stuff. Um, Babe's sitting here feeding the birds. Yeah, man, we gotta get back to that. Cause remember, we was in Houston, we was feeding them birds. We had that uh, bag of birds. So you know what? I'm gonna get some more today. What you think? Yeah. And just start feeding them, cause they shouldn't have to um, be scavenging for food and stuff. Mom, sit back while we do it. Well, go ahead, Mama. I hate when you do that. Yeah. So we definitely should. We should get some birds to eat. Yeah, we definitely should. I'm they pretty people. sure there's some on clearance at Walmart. <laughs> Yeah, you know, they be out here uh, lurking for food. They be hungry. Yeah, we just threw them some trail mix because we had some trail mix in the car and they were loving it, so. Yeah, they definitely love them peanuts. But these birds look well fed, babe. Like, they don't look like they're, like, starving for anything. Mama, because you see, you know where we live. <laughs> <laughs> like, these birds look very well fed. Like, one yeah. of the birds is bigger than my head. Yeah, for and sure. I have a pretty big meaty head. He, uh, there, there he go. Look, he came back. Here, let me show y'all. He gone. He flew away the second I put the camera on him. Oh, I think they no, they, they didn't. They all dipped. They got their food and dipped. <laughs> so they got their food and burned out on us. They did. Yeah, we're gonna get back to feeding the birds everywhere we go, wherever we see birds. We're gonna feed them. People can't stand people like us. They're like, ew. Yeah, They're feeding the rodents. The real, They're feeding right. the birds. Get them away from us. Right. But we always do. We feed the birds. We feed the squirrels. We feed stray dogs, stray cats. We feed everybody. You have to argue with people. Remember, I was feeding that dog. He was about to get into a full-blown fist fight with a 70-year-old man about feeding a stray dog. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he said he was going to shoot him and stuff. He ain't going to do nothing. Well, she was a girl, and mm -hmm. she was pregnant. She was very malnutritioned. Yes, and right. um, babe, he saw her walking down the street. This is when we lived in Houston. She's very close to where we lived, so babe bought her some food and stuff like that. And the guy that lived across the street was like, um, if she came back around, he was going to shoot her. And so, yeah, I know I went off. I went off a lot in Houston. Yeah, you did. We had to get away from Texas because, babe, he was going to end up in jail. I was, I was. It was, it, was, it, was bringing, it was bringing an inner evil out of me, man. Oh, Lord, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good, you know. But, you yeah, know, uh, we literally uh, feed them, and we feed them what they're supposed to eat. Like yeah. It's not like we're going to Yellowstone, like that one European lady, and she was feeding them bears and stuff. And, uh, yeah, she uh, she got charged uh, 60000 because she was feeding them for, like, three years, feeding the bear eggs and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> eggs and all type of stuff and it's like you can't feed them that's good right but in a place like that you can't feed them because they're going to be used to going up to humans these birds around humans all the time now if it's an animal that's around human that's different but if it's a park don't feed them because they're going to run and chase the, the people and they're going to attack kids and stuff like people don't use their brains that's why we feed birds and if it's a stray dog obviously it's been around humans 
Yeah. Any stray animals, they got you gotta people gotta really understand what stray means. Yeah, but you gotta think about it. We'll feed the raccoons and raccoons will attack you too. But raccoons, it's not that they'll attack you, it's they're around people. Yeah, these these animals are domesticated. Like there we go. Yeah, they're so used to people. Like these birds will literally walk up to people and just sit on side of your feet. Like they don't care. Right. They're used to being around humans, so I get that. We feed the deer too. Like yeah, feed the deer. A deer is not gonna attack you. That's the thing. Like unless it's uh, rabbit. Yeah, but that's the same thing for raccoons. Yeah. Raccoons ain't gonna attack you unless it's right now. A bear, his instinct is to survive. So if you if you're feeding the bear, he's going to go to the human, and they're going to be like, "What do you want?" And then the bear's going to attack him. Because the bear, like, you know what I you want. Know what I, I want food. Y'all you, been feeding me. No, that is true. That is dangerous. I mean, those a animals in the national forests and national parks, they get fed anyway. Yeah. Like they they make sure that they have the natural resources there for them to live off of. Right, right. So now you know we're not stupid. Like when we went to um Evergreen or Conifer, wherever right. we were, like we're not gonna be out there feeding the moose and feeding the elk because it's dangerous to even approach those animals. Now, now you're right. Now what I can say is, I don't like the idea of not feeding animals. Period. Because mm -hmm. It'll be a huge disconnect between mm -hmm. the uh, the animals and the, the so-called humans. So yeah. We should be amongst all animals, but it's a disconnect there. And then we know who played the huge factor in that. Yeah. And the animals, they don't have any overseas, trust Because overseas, yeah, they don't have no trust, but they purposely did it like that. Overseas, mm -hmm. man, them animals be around all type of humans and stuff. They be in their backyard, houses, everything. People just be like, ah, they're going to move, so I'm going to go pet him. Yeah, they, they bison. <laughs> that's true. Over here, we see a bison. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, they live with the monkeys, the hyenas, the it's, snakes. It's normal. It's just over here. Yeah, it's not normal. But yeah, that's what we're doing right now. That was a whole long spiel, but yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm gonna record anything else today because we're just gonna be working. Honestly, after this, like, I'm not gonna be really doing much else. But I did want to come in and end out the video. Um. I didn't want to leave you guys high and dry. So, yeah. If you guys enjoy feeding the animals, let us know because we love doing that. We do, we just love wildlife. We love to be outside. We love nature. We love the outdoors. Hopefully, in the near future, we'll get to do a lot more. What were you saying, dude? Oh, I was going to say when I say that little model. Oh, yeah. When we lived in Houston, yeah, we're going to tell this story real quick. There was this little tiny little mouse. It was so cute. And, uh... We were living there with um, some of Babe's family and like the little girls, like they were screaming and like the mouse touched one of the little girl's knees and she just like lost her mind. And they were like stomping around like, we're gonna kill it. And then Babe, <laughs> he caught it and then he let it free. Right, it's like, then her parents, you know, just as scared. I'm like, y'all can't be, that's the problem. Everybody too scared. Yeah, there's no need to be scared of a little mouse. It can't even do nothing to you. Yeah, but you know, Especially in the black community, they just so freaked out by everything. <laughs> they freaked out by roaches, flies, bees, bees birds, birds, lizards. My, if it's foreign, which it shouldn't be, but if it's foreign to them where they're not used to it, they're going to go crazy. Yeah, definitely. Spiders. Oh yeah. Lizards. I used snakes, to be definitely a scared a scared of worms. Worms, frogs. I'm not scared of nothing. I was but never scared high. of anything but worms. Right? I don't think I was scared of nothing. Nah, I used to be scared of bees, man. Yeah, he did. He used to be really scared of bees, but not anymore. Yeah, I don't care. Mm -mm. I used to be really scared of worms. Babe got me over my field worms. I don't like worms because, like, worms are parasites, and they'll get in your eyes and your, your brain and your heart and stuff like Everything that. Everything's a parasite. I'm not down with that, though. But it's like, no, like, your odds of getting sick from, like, playing with worms and touching worms are very high. It is. But your eyes are getting sick of drinking tap water is very high. <laughs> no, that is true. Tap water is terrible. Yeah, you know. It's terrible for you. We but are, anyway. We are... We, uh, Humans, us beings, well, it's the humans and then you got the, the extraterrestrials. We are parasites when you think about it because all we do is eat off the earth. Leech off of stuff. Yeah, we just eat, 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 destroy, eat, eat. We're that parasites. Is that is true. So it's only normal. 
I watched too many uh, episodes of Monsters Inside Me. That was my. <laughs> yeah, see, that's your problem. Y'all watching that goofy crap. That's true. But yeah. He had um, a monster inside you when you was pregnant. He is not a monster. Yeah, he was. <laughs> no, he wasn't. Mm. This is my baby beer. Shit. But yeah, anyway. Babe, we got to let them go, like you told me last night. Let these people go. got to let them go. That's, that's facts. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on that notification bell so you can be notified every time like we upload button. a video. Definitely hit the like button. And we will see you guys in the next video. You'll see us in the next video. Got to stay that cool. I got to gotta fix that because we can't see y'all. It's bothering me. Like, we can't see y'all. Mama, let them go. Us. I'm going to let y'all go.